T-Drag is here to show you how I downloaded Tropic Craft and got it to work. Now, this is MC Patcher 2.3.7 underscore 02 for Minecraft 1.2.5. I'll be putting the link in the description, and I'll be putting the links for everything that I have for Tropic Craft because this is how I got it to work. Now, for a while, I did not have too many items mods. You do not need this, obviously, to get work. It's just a thing, so you can see all the items. You need to have Minecraft Forge Client 3.1.3105. Because I had... Where is it? Hmm. I had... This version, Minecraft Forge 3.3.7.135. Ignore the one that's just an extra file. <clears throat> and uh, that's the most up-to-date version. Actually, I think it's point eight instead of point seven, but that's what I use for everything else, like Mine and Blade and stuff. Now, you have to have this one, because this is the one that is compatible. I don't know if I'm even saying that right, but it works with Travacraft 3.0.3 and also point five because there's not point three out anymore, because that is an older version. So, um, what I had to do is, I had all these other mods installed and stuff, and I tried to just select Minecraft Forge 3.1.3, Travacraft 3.0.5, and Mod Loader. Ignore the 7, just another file, because sometimes Mod Loader doesn't like to work. And I tried to patch it, which means it would just... It would select those files and only have those files put into it for you. MC Patcher does everything for you. You don't have to drag and drop anything. Now, it wouldn't work for some reason. So, I uh, I didn't really know what to do. So, I tried to uninstall MC Patcher so I could drag and drop. And I couldn't uninstall it. So, someone said, click the unpatch button. And uh, it restored to original Minecraft dot jar or something. It said it. And uh, then dragging and dropping didn't work either. So I tried to do this again, again after unpatching it. So I guess if you have MC Patcher or something, click unpatch. And then to get this to work, I'm not going to do it because I don't want to screw it up. But say if I was to click on mod loader, I click on this, I click minus, then I would click plus, it would bring me up to a bunch of dot zip files, and then you would find your mod loader, you want click plus, you would scroll through it to make sure there's no text. You don't want to put text files with it, because that might screw it up, I think. At least that's what someone said. So you scroll through them, and if you do see a text file, you click on it, and then you'll click a minus. If you're listening, you'll know what I mean if you try this now. And then you'll just click OK when you have all the dot classes. They'll be like dot PNG, like those are pictures. Then they'll be like dot OGG or something. And I think those are for like portals or something, like reactions to the game. And uh, yeah. So, and there'll be some text files in Minecraft. Well, Minecraft Forge. There's nothing in Tropicraft, and there's nothing in Mod Loader, I believe. So, once you have all those checked marked, you would click Patch. Well, actually, I recommend clicking Patch each time. You'd like first do Mod Loader, and then do Minecraft Forge, and then do Tropicraft. I'm pretty sure it has to be in that order because that could also screw it up too. And that might have been another problem I had. So, I might be wrong, I don't know, maybe this helps some people. I'm just trying to help because a lot of people are complaining and saying that all the, like, walkthroughs don't help them. So, and then, once you have all those patched, each time test Minecraft to make sure it doesn't white screen. Like, just, all you gotta do is make sure it doesn't white screen for Mod Loader and Minecraft Forge. And then for Tropicraft... Once you get that check marked and patched, you would click Test Minecraft. Ignore the browse and stuff because MC Patcher creates an extra original file to have all the regular stuff in case you unpatch it. And, uh, it's not launching. That's, uh, that's really awkward, actually. Hmm.
test Minecraft. There we go. Now you can't see everything because I have the window selected for MC Patcher, but you can see I got Minecraft here, single player. Here's my Mine and Blade world I created, Swords Plus world. Because every time, like, if you if you select new mods because some can't work together, it and you don't have a new world, everything in that world which you create will get deleted. So I have separate worlds. Uh, this was one. This was the first world I had. It was for a Let's Play, but I screwed up. So let's just go ahead and delete that. Um, and then here was the mod spotlight world I selected. Play, select world. And here is my Tropicraft. It's going to lag like crazy, but I got it. Hopefully this works for you. And another thing that happened to me that made it, it pissed me off. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I did everything. The Pina Colada, if you watched my how to get there and stuff, a mod spotlight. Then the, the Pina Colada and the umbrella and the chair. I teleported and it crashed. But then I got back on, tried it again, and it worked. So don't shit your pants if that happens to you. So thanks for watching. Hope this helps you. I'm going to be posting the links in the description. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'm going to end the video.